Now, earlier in the programme, we were looking at the state of our health service and the pressure that it's under. But what about the solutions? Our science correspondent, David Gregory Kumar, has been looking at the future of the NHS and, in particular, revolutionary new ways for doctors and hospitals to track and tackle potentially deadly infections. When you're sick, doctors want to learn all they can about any infection. They may well take a sample and then use a petri dish to grow up a culture and analyse the result to learn more about what's wrong with you. And this process is unchanged in well over a century, but it's not always easy. Although some bacteria like E. coli or MRSA will grow readily overnight from a, from a sample, there are many other bacteria where you have to have special atmospheric conditions, uh, special growth media, or you may have to, to grow them for long periods of time. So for example, tuberculosis, it may take you a couple of weeks or more to actually grow the bacterium before you can make the diagnosis. But the University of Warwick want to get rid of the Petri dish completely and instead turn to massive amounts of computer power and ever-improving DNA analysis machines like this one. Here's how this new approach to finding infection could work for a group of people with a mystery illness. You still take patient samples and they're full of all sorts of DNA, as you can see here, from the patient, from the bacteria causing the illness and more besides. And you extract all of that DNA, creating a big mix, a real DNA soup. You then apply that massive computing power and use it to narrow down the search for the source of the infection. So for example, what DNA do all the samples from different patients have in common? It's likely that DNA comes from the bacteria responsible for the illness and that'll allow doctors to identify the DNA and then the bacteria responsible for you feeling sick. And then to work out a treatment. It sounds simple, but actually it's really only become technically possible very recently. And it has big advantages over the old-fashioned Petri dish. We would also get more information than we would by conventional approaches. So by getting the whole genome of a bacterium out of a sample, we can work out not only is its propensity to cause disease, what resistances it might have to antibiotics, but we can also get an idea of where it's come from, how it is spread. And in five or perhaps ten years, thanks to this research, this approach could become routine, making the future NHS much more efficient and perhaps petri dish free. And that was David Gregory Kumar reporting. Now, thousands of primary school children will get their first taste of Shakespeare this week as part of a new project to introduce young people to the Bard's work. The Shakespeare